I'm uh, Gertjen Oskam. Twelve years ago I got an uh, accident and had a spinal cord injury. So I'm not able to move my legs anymore. Within five to ten minutes I could control my uh, uh, hips. Like they were like the brain uh, implant uh, picked up what I was doing with my hips. So that was uh, like yeah, the best outcome I think for everyone. I can really build uh, functional things from it. To just an example, I'm training 10 years to stand up with a friend having a beer. And that's uh, something I think people don't realize. To walk, the brain must send a command to the region of the spinal cord responsible for the control of movement. When there is a spinal cord injury, this communication is interrupted. Our idea was to re-establish this communication with a digital bridge, like an electronic communication between the brain and the region of the spinal cord that is still intact that can control the leg movement. We do two different surgeries. There is one surgery at the level of the brain. We do two little craniotomy, put electrodes in order to record the brain signal. And another surgery at the level of the spinal cord where we put electrodes on the top of the spinal cord at the place that is responsible for leg movement. So between these two, there is communication, an electrical communication, a digital bridge that is then reactivated the legs. So when everything is installed, the patient has first to learn how to work with his brain signals. And we also have to learn how to correlate this brain signal to the spinal cord stimulation. But this is pretty short. In a few sessions, everything is linked and the patient starts training. Rapidly, Gertian could have a volitional control over the movement of his paralyzed muscles to perform movement. But of course, it took a lot of training to regain you know, full weight bearing standing, walking for extensive duration. And what we observed along the duration of this training is a digital repair of the spinal cord. Not only he could leverage this digital bridge in order to control his paralyzed muscle, but also show a recovery of neurological function he had lost for many years. Suggesting that this digital bridge also promotes the growth of new nerve connections.